Hi, welcome to Jelly Talk. Uh, after a very long time, the summer, and we're coming with new videos. This video, we're going to talk about laser cleaning tips. And I want to introduce you, Mr. John, from our workshop. And I believe that many people visit us has, uh, has met him, because he's the operator. Um, to test every machine and to make all the parameters the table in the machine that delivered to you. So he's one of the experts that knowing every parameters in our machines. In the last videos that I talk a lot about the frequency, about uh, a reduction, um, uh, the power and things, very theoretical thing and with a lot of products and drawings. And many people meet me in the show in FabTech or uh, they will ask if I'm the engineer or I'm really very uh, theoretical thing. Um, I, frankly speaking, I'm not an engineer, but uh, every time I, I write the article or the paragraph of the topic and my engineers, my R&D people will help me with the content. And I'll read the content and I'll remember it and explain to you. But all the, the last series of videos are going too theoretical. So this time I invite Mr. John to help me with the content, all the tips, the very um, realistic or very helpful things that simply teach you how to use a laser cleaner to clean all kinds of materials. And my favorite part is that when everybody visit us in our workshop and some of them will make a competition with him and, and you will each one operate the machine and you will compete on making the test in different kinds of materials and that's very uh, you know, we are, he's very professional, but he's not the best of the world. Sometimes, like Kelvin or some people, they visit us and they wing out with their parameters. We also learn from them and from you. So I hope that many of you will visit us in Wuhan and in our workshop, and you can make competition with him. Before making the test on different kind of materials today, and I'm going to simply repeat what laser cleaning is. It's using laser power absorbed by the dirt or the surface of the material. And just to precisely take off the dirt without water, chemical, uh, or other things. So it's very clean and it's very environmental friendly. It's like a brush, only take off the dirt and the things that you don't want, but, but protect the base material. So simply we choose uh, the parameter depends on the laser power, the frequency, the scaling speed, and the scaling width, and also the patterns, the beam, beam shapes, and then to achieve that, the, the effects that you want. So now I will uh, uh, let Mr. Zhang to operate and to show uh, how to clean all different kinds of materials. So first we will start from wood. The most fragile material to be cleaned with laser, but it's very popular. A lot of people want to use laser to do this, to refurbish their furniture or to refurbish their house. So for wood, the first, because it's very fragile, if too much power, it goes like uh, overburned, like this, a little bit overburned, too much power on the surface. Then we will switch another beam shape. So the, the point, the tips for cleaning wood is first, never put the power too high. Today we're using 300 watt laser to do the test. And normally we suggest you start from the 50% of the power of the machine and you start from the lower power to the maximum to get the speed. And second, you need to do with the exact focal length to put the focus on the surface of the wood. You can use the red dot to make sure that you put the focus on the, on the surface. Like this, when the two dots overlapping and you get, the, you get the focus on the surface. So the hand must be very stable because wood is very fragile. If you go out of focus, you probably don't have enough power or if you stay there too long, you probably get too much power on that. So the hand and the movement need to be really smooth and stable. And third, normally we don't put too much high frequency. And this is something puzzling me for a long time because theoretically you go very high frequency, uh, then you got less millijoules per, uh, per pulse. But this is only theoretical. Normally we don't use too much because too high frequency means that you have a lot of dots, many bullets in one second. So you got overlapping of the beam on the surface and easily to burn the wood. 
So normally you use the parameters saved in our machine table and it's um, readily medium or low frequency. Uh, now we're using 135 kilohertz. And the last point, we used uh, the round shape, which Mr. Zhang said is the best one for cleaning wood. And I proved also when I was operating the machine with Michael and uh, we find out that the round one is the most suitable, uh, get the perfect effects with wood. Please show us. This shape shows very gentle effect. And he has a very stable hand and the movement is very smooth. So you never move too slow or too fast. You get equal effects on the surface and now it's cleaning very good. And this shape is the best one for wood cleaning. Now it's taking off almost all the paint and the, the color of the wood came out. Perfect cleaning. So in the end, make a conclusion is that the focus must be right. You need to put the focus on the surface of the wood and the hand must be very stable. And the speed, the way you move and you never go out of focus and you, you, you control the speed and you do it many times. Uh, with very gentle parameters, you do it more times, it's safe for the, for the, for the wood. And the last is the, the shape. We have 11 shapes, beam shapes in our um, data base, but the round one is the best for wood. So now we start with the rust removal because rust removal cleaning is also a very common scenario for laser cleaners. And today we're going to show two examples. First is the stainless steel with a very thin rust, which is just rusted, or or you it's a precise part you want to protect the the part. And this is a heavy rust uh, on a my steel, so. It's like a big part and you not so care about distortion or heat things so you just to take off want to get uh, clean. So let's see how to do uh, how to choose the parameters for the thin and thick rust. Please. For the very thin rust, normally you start with the medium or low power with many times you do you try it many many times back and forth so to, to to protect the base material. This is he's trying to show that if you put too much power on that you not only take off the rust but also burn oxidated to base material. So too much power. So let's do it again. He changed a beam shape and the round one is very gentle, uh, gentle always very equal. The, the, the laser beam dots on the surface, always very equal. And this shows very good. No, no black and no the shapes and it's very clean. The heavy rust. For heavy rust, you need to go high power. If the power is not enough, you don't get good effect. You don't take the rust away. Mm, seems okay, but he can do better. Let's switch another parameter to, to make it better. There are some rust haven't been taken off, and um, I think he can do better. So we will make you comparison of two set of parameters that how he how he change. Maybe yeah. That's it. Mr. Zhang's favorite shape is the rock one. 
Come on. Okay, ma. So these two. When we so for the heavy rust, you need high power, and many times, and for slightly rust, you you start from low power and very gentle uh, parameters. You you start from low power, gent gentle way to to scan, and if it's a just big piece of metal, you use the maximum power and the the best power of the machine to to take off the rust, vaporize the rust. In, 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 a, in a second. So now we're going to test the oil and paint, which is also very common applications of laser cleaning. And for oil cleaning, it's very easy to get burned with fire. fire. So we suggest you to use a cloth to clean it before using laser to work on. Try to avoid uh, the oil will absorb the laser power and, and get fired. So after cleaning with the cloth and you start with a low power, what kind of parameters are okay? Oil is very easy to be taken off with laser because it's high absorption for laser power. And just to scan it fast because oil is always very thin. For paint, uh, it's another story. Uh, depends on depends on is a thick, heavy paint or is a very thin paint. Normally, you use high power, full power, um, to and it's also um, important to do with many layers. So you don't try to take off the paint in one time because if you put too much power on that and uh, you make distortion the heat on it because the paint is always on a uh, 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 sheet or things you make distortion so normally we do many layers we scan many times uh, normally you start uh, paint because they before painting they put on uh, the base uh, attack, uh, um, attachment for the paint so it's not easy to take off. You go with high power and you scan many times. If it's a, you discover it's a very thick paint and you lower the power. Normally our standard parameters in our machine is okay, but if you think you need a, a minor adjust and you can adjust from there. Let's, let's make the test. And normally we, we do the test on a small area that you guarantee that you can make it perfect instead of going directly on the main thing. Uh, so, this is what? Is it not good? It's not good. But it's not good. 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 So this is a, it's a wrong parameter. So you will see that the paint haven't been taken off and it's a little bit overburned on two sides. So this, the wave, the shape, is not very suitable for this. So, so he will switch parameter and do it again. He changed the, clean, the scanning speed and also the shapes. It's all waves, but it's, uh, we have two different kinds of shapes of waves. So this one obviously working better. The paint all uh, have been cleaned and you see that he cleaned many times, many layers. And uh, the face shows very good and it's not so hot. So now the next we're going to clean the bricks and the stones, which is very normal also as the graffiti. You need to clean on the walls, on the floors. Uh, for this it's very easy because this kind of material is very heat taken, it's not afraid of heat. So it means that you can go with high power to take it very easily, just use the power to go. But also we suggest you to uh, test from a small area with uh, uh, slightly more layers so you can be more safe to get the perfect parameter. 
let's go. So normally our suggestion is that you make a, a good cleaning sheet. You don't stay in one area too long. You make a good impact. If you stay in one area too much, then you probably burn the material. So the very important thing is to stick on to the, the cleaning sheet. Like this one. He, he, he stayed here too long, so moving too slow, so we get over burning of the stone. Even the stone is very um, good for heat, but still it's get over burned. So I was suggesting is that you adjust the speed and you don't stay one area too, too much. You go quicker. For the long metal materials, you can test the mold shapes because it has many cracks inside. With different shapes, you probably find the perfect one to go, you know, somewhere higher, somewhere lower, but these intricate shapes. So again, Mr. John favorite is the wrong one. <laughs> and it's very good. It's perfect. It's taking off everything in a, in a holes. And after this video, my favorite shape is also the round one too. But he said, the waves goes faster on rust removal. So after making all the tests, we tried to bring you a real uh, cases that how to use different parameters to clean and all the tips that you need to pay attention on different material. Uh, and also Mr. John has uh, made a data sheet for you with all the tips, not only the parameters, but for paint, wood, grass, stones, and uh, all the tips that we have been mentioned in the, in the video. So in general, the tips are like the first, you need to uh, recognize the material. So every time if you go to a customer or if someone bring you a sample, you need to clean. First, you judge what kind of material it is. It's wood, it's metal, it's a rust, it's a paint. So you need to make clear what kind of material. And second, you need to start from a small area. Never go a big piece or a big area. Then probably you choose the wrong uh, parameter, you probably ruin the thing. So you start with a similar material or use from a color with a very small uh, area. And third, try to do many layers many times to do it gentle, so to protect the base material or to be safe. Uh, never go just, you know, just right there and you use the maximum power and probably you destroy something. So mm, this is the third. So with all these tips, we hope that you can um, provide better cleaning service and you can use your machine to ultimate effects. So this is for today. If you have any questions or puzzles or you want to get a data sheet in our last video, you can write email to me or uh, WhatsApp me. And please um, subscribe our channel, stay tuned with us. Next episode will come up. Mr. Zhang will help me with the tips on using CW machines to do laser cleaning. Stay tuned, bye.